What's up everybody, welcome back to the E-Squad and today we're going to be reviewing the HyperX wireless headset. That's the HyperX Cloud Stinger wireless headset. The reason why I picked out this headset was because it works for the Nintendo Switch and for all of you users out there who have a Nintendo Switch, you guys know that Overwatch is coming up and you're going to need a headset that will work just fine maybe also in docked mode which is what this headset is for now i bought this headphone about two weeks ago and i've been using it for a while so i just wanted to tell you guys what i thought and what my thoughts were and basically it seems pretty straightforward it's an 80 dollar headset for the pc version at least that's what it says on the box that it's used for pc PS4, PS4 Pro, but not to worry. It works for a Nintendo Switch as well. It's wireless, and by wireless, they mean that it comes with a USB receiver. It basically looks like a USB drive or a, uh, a thumb drive, a, uh, a thumbstick, whatever you want to call it. All you do is you plug it into the um, one of the ports on the outside of the Switch. Plug it in. The um, will be in. LED that lights up. It's uh, blue for the PC, PC version and basically after you plug that in then the switch will detect it and it'll be like there you go. That's it. It's pretty straightforward honestly. Put the headset on and you have gameplay and you have audio. It's awesome. Um, and basically after, um, after using it for a couple weeks I realized a few things. The audio overall is pretty pretty decent. The volume I, I like it. It's not bad. But the battery life is definitely really good, honestly. This headset actually lasts 17 hours in battery life. Note that they actually have a disclaimer on the box, and they say that the 17 hours of, of battery life is from 50% use of volume. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how did you determine what the volume set? Nice thing is, there's actually a volume wheel on the headset that I like. It's pretty durable, you can tell it's got a nice feel to it. Say you scroll it all the way up, it'll sound um, three, uh, I think two or three little beeping noises that are kind of high pitched. Not to hurt your ears, but just to tell you, oh, it's at the highest volume setting. Because the volume wheel scrolls indefinitely. Now say you scroll it all the way down to the lowest setting, it'll like be like two or three uh, low beeps saying, oh, that's at the lowest volume setting. So basically just, you know, find a comfortable volume setting you're okay with and just set it at that. For those of you guys wondering, here is a mic test for the HyperX Cloud Wireless. And honestly, it's not too bad as far as I can tell. This is actually my first time using it and listening to it which is pretty insane because obviously the only games that use uh, audio for headsets are the games that use native voice chat not the uh, switch or nintendo mobile app obviously so yeah this is the audio of how i would sound if i was talking to you guys via gameplay on the switch and want to squad up with some overwatch for the e-squad then make sure to get my friend code in the description below all right and we can squat up and get some good uh, gameplay going on now i've actually been I, this is my first wireless headset i've got not not bluetooth wireless headset right and the first and and the wired headset that i have for gaming is the um, hyper x cloud stinger not the wireless version so i looked online and that's how i found the wireless one for eighty dollars now, also a side note, you need to know that there are two different versions of the Cloud Stinger wireless. There is the PS4 edition that has little blue marks around the sides, and there is the PC edition, and the PC edition is all black. Now, last time I checked, the PC edition was $10 more than the PS4 edition. Why is that? Who knows? It's so confusing. And I checked online and compared the two to see if there were any differences, and guess what? There's none. They're the same exact type of headphones, and don't worry, they both work for Switch, okay? I have tested them both. Now, basically, you guys are probably wondering, which one do I get? Here's the answer. Get the cheaper one, all right? Or, obviously, if you like the color blue around the cuffs, maybe get that one, or if you like the color just all, all black, then get that one, but 
personally get the cheaper one, all right? As of when I am recording this, the cheaper one now is actually the PC edition, but I went to buy it two weeks ago. The PlayStation one was the cheapest one, which is crazy how it changed that quick. I don't even understand. But overall, audio quality is pretty good, like I said earlier, you know, but for the price, the, the low cost, the fact that it's wireless and it works for your Switch docked, docked, all right, honestly, it's a pretty good find. It's a pretty good find. Would I recommend to pick this up? Yes. Yes, I would, all right? This is, in my opinion, the cheapest wireless headset to use docked for the Nintendo Switch out there that is advertised. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe for the eSquad for more content. Make sure to click the link in the description below because we are doing a giveaway for one of these headsets for a HyperX Cloud wireless headset, all right? So make sure to go down into the description below, click the link, and sign up for the giveaway.